my hashtag mega fave number is 10 to the 69 plus 69. And uh, I like this number because uh, it's prime, right? That's cool. And also because, you know, Lamau. Um, this number is actually part of a family of numbers um, of the form 10 to the x plus x, which are also prime. So um, the first number in this family would be uh, 10 to the 1 plus 1, which is just 11. That's prime. Um, the next number you'd have to check would be 10 to the 2 plus 2, which is 102. Um, but that's even, so that's not prime. Next number you'd have to check would be 10 to the 3 plus 3, which is 1,003. Um, but that's a multiple of 17, so that's not prime. And uh, if you keep checking, um, you get the 10 to the 9 plus 9 is the next prime. And the prime after that would be our hashtag mega fave prime, uh, 10 to the 69 plus 69. And if you keep checking, you can get some other numbers, like 10 to the 313 plus 313, and 10 to the 451 plus 451. And then if you keep checking, you will get these numbers. Yeah, I looked these up on OEIS. Um, so I guess you can wonder, are there infinitely many of these? Well, as far as I know, that's an open question, but there is an argument that there are probably infinitely many of them. To prove this, we're gonna use a fact, sometimes called the prime number theorem, that the quote unquote probability that a number x is prime is around one over log x. So let's take a look at this sequence of numbers. 10 to the 1 plus 1, 10 to the 2 plus 2, 10 to the 3 plus 3, 10 to the 4 plus 4, 10 to the 5 plus 5, and so on. Um, now, how many of these numbers are prime? Uh, well, we don't know that, but we can find the quote-unquote expected number uh, of primes in the sequence by adding up the probabilities that each one of these numbers are prime. So uh, we would take 1 over the log of the first number, plus 1 over the log of the second number, and so on, and you would get this expression. And we want to show that this sequence eventually goes to infinity, right? We want to show that there's infinitely many primes like this. Well, the way that we show this is something called a series comparison test. So we're going to compare each term in here with another term, like so. So this is another expression. And notice that this first term, 1 over log of 10 to the 1 plus 1, is greater than this term here, 1 over log of 10 squared, because this denominator here is less than the denominator here. So this fraction is greater than this fraction here. And the same thing is true for this term. The second term is greater than this term. This third term is greater than this third term and so on. So that means that this, uh, this series is greater than this series. But this series is a bit easier to compute. We can pull out the two in the exponent down here and do the same for all of these terms. So we eventually get this expression, uh, one over two times the log of 10 plus one over three times the log of 10 plus one over four times the log of 10 and so on. And now, we can factor out the 1 over log of 10 to get an expression like this. Finally, some of you guys might recognize this already, but this is called the harmonic series. Well, except for uh, it's missing the first term, which would be a 1. But other than that, this is called the harmonic series. And if you've seen the harmonic series before, then you know that this series diverges. If you haven't seen the series before, I'll put a link in the description to somewhere where you can find why this series diverges. So it is equal to uh, infinity, I guess. So our original series also equals infinity. All right, so we just found that the expected number of primes should be equal to infinity. So we would expect 
that there are infinitely many primes of this form, uh, but we haven't proven that yet, and this prime number is going to be my mega fave number.